A mill certification report is a certified record of the physical and chemical properties of raw material of wire. Wire rope is a complex piece of mechanical machinery with a number of different specifications and properties that can affect. Wire rope is a complex mechanical device that has many moving parts all working in tandem to help support and move an object or load. In the lifting and rigging industries, wire rope is attached to a crane or hoist and fitted with swivels, shackles or hooks to attach to a load and move it in a controlled manner. It can also be used to lift and lower elevators, or as a means of support for suspension bridges. Strength, flexibility, abrasion resistance, crushing resistance, fatigue resistance, corrosion, components of wire rope. There are four basic components that make up the design of a finished wire rope. Wires made from metal that form a singular strand. Multi-wire strands laid around a core in a helical pattern. A fiber or steel core. Lubrication. Wire. Wires are the smallest component of wire rope and they make up the individual strands in the rope. Wires can be made from a variety of metal materials including steel, iron, stainless steel, monol, and bronze. The wires can be manufactured in a variety of grades that relate to the strength, resistance to wear, fatigue resistance, corrosion resistance, and curve of the wire rope. Strands. Strands of wire rope consist of two or more wires arranged and twisted in a specific arrangement. The individual strands are then laid in a helical pattern around the core of the rope. Strands made of larger diameter wires are more resistant to abrasion, while strands made of smaller diameter wires are more flexible. Core. The core of a wire rope runs through the center of the rope and supports the strands and helps to maintain their relative position under loading and bending stresses. Cores can be made from a number of different materials including natural or synthetic fibers and steel. Lubrication. Lubrication is applied during the manufacturing process and penetrates all the way to the core. Wire rope lubrication has two primary benefits. Reduces friction as the individual wires and strands move over each other. Provides corrosion protection and lubrication in the core, inside wires, and outside surfaces. The following terms help to define the construction and properties of wire rope. Length, size, preformed or non-preformed, direction and type of lay. Finish of wires, grade of rope, type of core, length, the total number of feet cut to size when wrapped around the spool and delivered. Size, this is the specified nominal diameter of the wire rope and can be specified in inches or millimeters. Strand patterns, the number of layers of wires, the number of wires per layer, and the size of the wires per layer all affect the strand pattern type. Wire rope can be constructed using one of the following patterns, or can be constructed using two or more of the patterns below. Single layer, the most common example is a seven wire strand with a single wire center and six wires of the same diameter around it. Filler wire, two layers of uniform size wire around a center with the inner layer having half the number of wires as the outer layer. Small filler wires, equal to the number in the inner layer, are laid in valleys of the inner wire. Seal, two layers of wires around a center with the same number of wires in each layer. All wires in each layer are the same diameter. The large outer wires rest in the valleys between the smaller inner wires. Warrington, two layers of wires around a center with one diameter of wire in the inner layer, and two diameters of wire alternating large and small in the outer layer. The larger outer layer wires rest in the valleys, and the smaller ones on the crowns of the inner layer. Combination, a combination strand is constructed using any combination of two or more of the patterns listed above. Preformed or non-preformed, on a preformed wire rope, the strands and wires are formed during the manufacturing process to the helical shape that they will take in a finished wire rope. Preformed rope can be advantageous in certain applications where it needs to spool more uniformly on a drum, needs greater flexibility, or requires more fatigue resistance when bending. Direction and type of lay. Direction and type of lay refer to the way the wires are laid to form a strand, either right or left, and how the strands are laid around the court regular lay, lang lay, or alternate lay. Regular lay. The wires line up with the axis of the rope. The direction of the wire lay in the strand is opposite to the direction of the strand lay. Regular lay ropes are more resistant to crushing forces, are more naturally rotation resistant, and also spool better in a drum than lang lay ropes. Lang lay. The wires form an angle with the axis of the rope. The wire lay and strand lay around the core in the same direction. Lang lay ropes have a greater fatigue resistance and are more resistant to abrasion. Alternate lay. The wire rope consists of alternating regular lay and lang lay strands, used mainly for special applications. Finish of wires. 
zinc coated galvanized zinc aluminum alloy coated mishmetal stainless steel or unfinished steel bright grade of rope the strength of wire rope is broken down into different grades including Improved Plow Steel IPS. Extra Improved Plow Steel EIPS is 15% stronger than IPS. Extra Extra Improved Plow Steel EIPS is 10% stronger than TIPS. The Plow Steel Strength Curve forms the basis for calculating the strength of most steel rope wires. Type of Core. Wire Rope Cores are designated as Fiber Core FC. Independent Wire Rope Core IWRC. Wire Strand Core WSC. A fiber core can be made of natural or synthetic polypropylene fibers. Fiber cores offer greater elasticity than a steel core but are more susceptible to crushing and not recommended for high heat environments. Mill test certificate details. 1 type grade. 2 rope test results. 3 wire test results. 4 chemical analysis of wire rod.